Whammy for your fanny here. We're seeing that play out in the markets <laughs> early this morning at the 10 a.m. marker as that economic data crossed. You're seeing that latest leg lower here in the S&P 500 now down by about a quarter of a percent here. The Nasdaq composite, you're also seeing that down by about four tenths of a percent here this morning. That's after opening in positive territory as we were outlining at the start of today's trading activity that this was going to be a big day to see exactly where some of that larger overhang and some of that scare and perhaps taking some of those chips off the table, going after the Fed's commentary and Fed Chair Jerome Powell's commentary on Friday, how much that is continuing to rattle markets here on the day. You're seeing the tech-heavy Nasdaq continuing to move lower by about three-tenths of a percent here today. Also want to take a look very briefly at some of the crypto activity as we've been tracking that too. And taking a look here briefly at the major cryptocurrencies as we've seen that slide take place over the weekend, some of the speculative assets selling off and of course of course, the crypto markets, they don't close. However, you're seeing a slight move higher here on Bitcoin on the day by about 1%, but we're off of that level that we had seen it actually touch of 20,000 over the past couple days and earlier here today. And so just briefly here, let's take a look at the past five days to see where that's moved off of. And there we saw that 21,700 level reached, touched, but still moved off of at this point in time. Some of the other cryptocurrencies moving in concert right now on the day. So Expert line work, Brad. Thank you.